Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on this uh, very interesting, uh, obscure inflatable that a lot of people don't know about. And this is going to be a video on the 11 foot, yeah that's right, 11 foot, three ghosts in the pumpkin. Now, uh, this inflatable has been an inflatable that I've wanted for a little while now. This inflatable is just basically an 11 foot version of the three ghosts in a pumpkin. That's 8 foot, but this is basically 11 foot tall instead of 8 foot tall. So, here he is, he's up and ready to go in the display this year. I'm using him in the display this year. So, this is what he looks like. Um, I'll show you guys the box. This is the 2005 model. Now, they made this in 2004 and 2005. Mine's the 2005 model. As you can see, this is what the box to it looks like. And it says 2004 on the box, but it's 2005. It says February 2005 on the cord. So this is the 2005 model. So basically how I got this one, I got this guy, good old guy from Josh. He, I traded him the Walmart 2022 12 foot pumpkin reaper and he gave me this. Now this inflatable did need some work done to it. It needed, let me turn my camp flash off, it needed some uh, sealant applied to it because it was actually heat damaged when he got it. Uh, this inflatable is in brand new condition now. So it got heat damaged while it was being stored in a, in a trailer. And that's basically how it got heat damaged. And what got heat damaged on it was three sections of the pumpkin itself. And then two small circular sections of the pumpkin that you can't really see. And then the, this ghost got a tad touch heat damage, but nothing major. But that was about it. So, this side, this side, and this side were heat damaged. And then there's two small circular sections that were heat damaged. Uh, there's this that's heat damaged. And there's a small, there's another circular section out after that uh, pumpkin fabric that's uh, heat damaged as well. I mostly sealed that. Now, I didn't quite fully seal this thing. The, 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 main, the main reason that is is because I ran out of sealant, but uh, there actually still needs to be just a few more touch-ups that need to be done to this. But other than that, um, it actually works okay as is. It inflates pretty good as is already. For, for not being able to fully seal this thing up, but it does work pretty good as is, so... Hey, as long as their arms are staying up and inflates decently good, then that's what matters, right? So this has a deluxe base fan. It's got... this was one of the ones that has those big metal legs. And I mean, they're actually bigger on these bigger ones than, uh, than the normal 2003, 2002 inflatables. So, uh, this basically has a deluxe base fan with the big legs, and it's got five C7s. I don't believe this has a sixth one, but it's got one in the pumpkin, one in the small ghost, two in the uh, big ghost, and then one in this ghost for some reason. I don't, he does not have a C7 in him. I don't think he does. It doesn't look, it doesn't look or feel like he does. So, unfortunately, he doesn't have a C7. But, inflation-wise, it inflates decently good, like I said. Like I'm pushing down on this thing and it's still... It bounces a little, but it's not, it's not terrible. So, this thing has also four Tever attachments. Besides the uh, base itself, obviously, where you put the stakes in. It's got one Tever attachment on each side of the pumpkin here. And then it's got one on the mid-size ghost. And then one on the big size ghost. So that's where the Tever attachments are. And the pumpkin is different looking on this one because it's not as squished. It's not really squished like the 8 foot version is. The 8 foot version, the shape of the pumpkin makes it look squished so you can't really see the entirety of the face because the mouth is like partially squished. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about with that, but... With this one, it doesn't have that squished face issue, and you can really see the pumpkin in all its glory. And so, uh, 
That's basically this guy. I really like it. It's a very good classic inflatable. This is one of the big Jemmy inflatables that was made during the classic era. The only other inflatables I know they made that were like huge were the 12 and a half foot cat on pumpkins with the ghosts, the pumpkin jack, and the 12 and a half foot Frankenstein. But that was basically it for the classic era of large inflatables, which is kind of disappointing. I wish they made more uh, larger inflatables, but oh well. That was during that time, and they, they and you guys know they make plenty of them now. So, oh well. I do have the I, I do also have the uh, twelve and a half foot cat on pumpkins. I do want to get another one of those big classic inflatables. Hopefully, uh, a pumpkin jack sometime in the future. But I don't know. We'll have to see. I also do have the twelve and a half foot Frankenstein, but he's worn out and he's uh, a little too. Uh, worn out to fully seal up right now But yeah, I got him for free So that's basically it for the 11 foot 3 ghost and pumpkin This is not using a double fan like uh, Blake's one is Blake in the video of, his, of Blake's one that he had He was using a whirlwind globe fan on this. This one's not using a whirlwind globe fan. It's using its normal fan Because I sealed all the fabric up that was bad basically and uh, yeah Oh, it has a small little hole over there. I taped that up. But here's the here's a back view of it. Nothing too special. It just looks ginormous. And you can see all the tethers I put on this thing. I it, this thing is best with eight, but I only put six on there because I didn't really have that many tethers on hand. So I only have six on this guy. But it gets the job done. He's in there pretty good, and I'm pretty happy that I have this inflatable. Once again, thank you, Josh, for trading this guy to me. Very happy to finally have this one. So that's basically it for this, uh, eight, this, I almost said eight foot, 11 foot three ghosts in a pumpkin inflatable. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is basically what it looks like in the dark. The lights are very good.